Oh, hey there. Oh, hey there. Oh, hello. How's it going? It's time for another episode of JW Stories, brought to you by the Watchtower Association. Brainwashing good meaning people since 1875. I don't actually really know when they started, but uh, yeah, I want to tell you another quick uh, Jehovah's Witness story. This story is about the time my parents stopped by unexpectedly on my birthday and proceeded to tell me that I was the tool of Satan. As I said, it was my birthday. I was home alone because my wife happened to be working on this particular day, and I was with my two daughters, and it was around 6 o'clock, we just finished dinner and it's time to start the bedtime routine when all of a sudden I hear knocking at my door. <laughs> no pun intended. I go to the door and my parents are there, which is kind of strange because as you probably know, Jehovah's Witnesses do not celebrate birthdays and I can't help but suspect that it wasn't a coincidence that they showed up on this particular day, my birthday. I'm their only son and you know, Maybe they just wanted to see me on this on this not important, you know, unofficial day. But so anyways, they show up, we start hanging out, we start chatting, and I don't know what it was. Maybe it was because it was my birthday and I felt like giving myself a little birthday present, a little birthday treat. I wanted to engage them in spiritual discussion. Because at this point I had already had my cubicle epiphany and I had already had discussions with my parents and decided that it was probably best not to talk to them about that kind of stuff. But on this particular day, there was something in the air, there was something in me, and I decided, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna have this conversation. And the particular topic that kicked it off was homosexuality. Homosexuality in the Bible and homosexuality in the um, doctrines of the Jehovah's Witnesses. So that's how it started. But of course, when you start talking and debating a Jehovah's Witness on one topic, it always inevitably leads to many others. So anyway, one thing leads to another. We're going around in circles as usual because they can't seem to reason in a linear way. So I'm following them, but this time something's different. I'm not getting personal. I'm not getting upset and I'm not saying things to get my parents to be upset. I'm being very jovial. I'm laughing. I'm having a good time. They're not, but I am. And eventually we get to a point in the discussion where my mom pleads with me. She says, please, just study the Bible with us. Study the Bible with one of our brothers or sisters. And then you'll understand and you'll have all the answers that you want. Because at this point it became very clear to all of us that my parents couldn't address my points. They couldn't answer my arguments. They had nothing. They were just going around in circles. And as I kept pointing this out to them, that's when my mom finally said, just study. And I said, you know what, mom? I've studied before, I've given it a fair shake, but I'm willing to study again under one condition. And she says, what's that? And I said, for every hour of study that I commit to with a Jehovah's Witness, I want you and dad to commit to an hour of study with me. Well, let me tell you, that didn't go over. They were terrified at the mere suggestion. They couldn't believe what I was suggesting. And my dad blurted out that I was working for Satan, that I was there to tempt them, that I was trying to lure them away from the truth, which begs the question, if you know the truth with a capital T, and you know it, and you know it in your heart of hearts, how could you possibly be afraid of little old me? What am I going to say that's going to shake you from that? Obviously, quite a lot, but... They didn't want to engage me on that level and they didn't want to study with me. They didn't want to learn what I believe. They didn't want to hear about the different things that I had discovered in the years since my cubicle epiphany. And they certainly didn't want to hear about my epiphany either because, like my dad said, pretty clear who's responsible for it, right? Satan! Anyways, I thought that was a nice birthday present because in my mind, Satan's actually quite an admirable character in the Bible, and uh, <laughs> I've got my whole family outside of the van, so I think I better go. They've got disguises, and they've got all kinds of stuff going on. Let's take a look. Sparta! This is Sparta! I will caught you with my evil kitty cat! Cyrus! You're a bad kitty cat. Emma, say live well, my friends! Live well, my 
Yeah. Let not well my enemies. <laughs> now you know why my parents, the Jehovah's Witnesses, are terrified of us. This is my crazy family. Live well, my friends. Live well, my peeps.